go, it's going to be sold out if it hadn't already been sold out. Is it sold out? Not sold out, but it yeah. says a brisk. What does brisk mean? <laughs> That's T. Brisk was a T. Yeah, I thought. I didn't They're know. moving. They are selling a high number of Okay. What, what's the capacity there? 22,000. 22,000. Where are we at? Sales what? We'll, we'll, we'll help them out. I'll say something on social. We'll help them out. Uh, good program. Uh, love the school. I think they're American Strahan's uh, uh, alma mater, I believe, and a couple others that I know. Um, I look forward to it. I really do. Coach, obviously, the Hawkers are job open earlier this week. Have you mm -hmm. heard from the Tigers at all? And what are your thoughts? Yeah, on I've heard from, from the Tigers. Uh, Jackson Snake Tag. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jackson Snake. My bad. Sorry. Fraudulent slip. What have you seen from Texas Southern on Hawk Bell? Um, tough, uh, versatile quarterback. They read option, um, three man front. Um, pretty darn good um, punt returner, kick returner. Really good. They will present you with problems if you go in there and underestimate them tremendously. But we don't underestimate anyone. We're going to go in there like it's uh, our last game. We play with that kind of tenacity. And, and uh, we prepare for everything, and we're prepared for that that game. Coach, your team is undefeated. Um, you always talk about dominance, but not necessarily. You see it at different times that you know, guys are playing games, but not necessarily all the way through how you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You have these next three games, obviously starting with Texas Southern. If you were a player on this team, what mm -hmm. would be your mindset in, in terms of navigating these next three games? To be dumb. I, I, I want to be dumb. It, it's like uh, this is the fourth quarter. We're looking at games like this is the fourth quarter. We break the seasons up in a sort of way, but this is the fourth quarter. So the next three, we got to finish strong. We normally finish pretty darn good in second halves. Uh, third and fourth quarter is where we excel uh, because of our conditioning and how we prepare for these games. These games uh, are the ones that mean the most. Most people remember November. I heard one of our coaches say that this morning, and I stole it. I forgot which one said it, but I'm going to take credit for it. People remember November. I think it was Brewer. 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 Markison. Is Markison? Mm -hmm. Markison. Coach Markison said. I gave Brewer credit. Markison said it was good. Have you seen that video that Southern had posted? Uh, yeah, talking about of course. Game? Saw it before the game. I team, I seen, I team seen it last week. And, and what did you think about that? God bless him, man. That's a lot. You know, you got to have nerve to do that. You got to play. You got to play the game. It's a lot of nerve. You know, the thing about those videos, you got to understand, man, we do so much for not only Jackson State and uh, HBCUs, but you got to think how that, forget how the players feel, because they're going to just turn up. They were ready to go. But how does that make me feel? Because we have, you know, the Rock and the whole league, uh, Moose Johnson is attached to another league. He's the commissioner, so he wants to have like a pro day, like a, a trial there. So it's, it's almost like, do I let those kids come to our field? <laughs> Knowing what they did. But you know me, I would. Because they're kids. They got to learn something. But you got to think about those type of things. That's the type of things those kids don't think about. Because you never know who you may need one day to vouch for your character. Coach, Dick Southern hasn't been strong in stopping the run. Awesome. Yeah. And this, you know, over the last several weeks, Jackson State's running game has gotten stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that's been, I guess you could say, a blessing in disguise in terms of being able to potentially use that as an exploit against their defense this week? We're going to do what we do. I mean, whatever you give us, we're going to take it. And we're going to try to take what you don't give us. So we're a pretty balanced attack. I know it seems like we throw the heck out of the ball. We can when we want to. Also, we can run the heck out of the football. That's a tribute to our offensive linemen and the work they put in all summer long. And uh, Coach Marcus and the work that he does with the line. But we plan on taking advantage of anything um, they give us. Coach, obviously your name is going to be lost at any time job opening that comes open in the Power Five. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. It's truly a blessing. Because I, I don't think, uh, I'm sorry I interrupted. I just got to get these points out. Because I don't think too many 
African American coaches from the HBCU has ever been attached to anything concerning the Power Five. So that's truly a blessing. We, we, we love to, to do the things that hadn't been done around here in Jackson State, and this is another prevalent thing that, uh, that hadn't been done that we're doing. How do you deal with, you know, constantly kind of seeing that in the headlines? Uh, my, my name has been attached to many things in life. Also, a whole lot of headlines. So this ain't new to me. I'm good. I just got to make sure our coaches uh, stay locked in and focused as long as the, as well as the kids. But a, a, attention and exposure, I'm not new to this. Great question, though. This past other game, the first time you guys didn't allow a team to score at all. Was there any differences in the defense this week? Yeah, they released a video during the week. Kind of upset us a little bit. Coach, what does this game most star freshman program history mean to you guys? And how do you kind of avoid that letdown after such a high high for college game day and getting that game most star? Um, you the only one thing about letdowns. We don't. We think about dominate. We've been saying it all year. Um, we, we're we not historians, so we're told what we do. Um, this gentleman does a wonderful job telling us the historical marks that we just set. I have no idea. I didn't know we never been eight. No, I don't know when the last time uh, Tech State won the swag. I don't do that type of research. I don't really care. I'm, I'm into the now and let's uh, take advantage of the moments that we're afforded. So the way we prepare, the way we work, the way we practice, it's hard for us to, to not understand what's in front of us and to go dominate that moment. We're not looking down the street at nothing. We're looking right in front of us right now. That's just the way we approach everything, and our coaches do a pretty darn good job of that as well. Uh -huh.